I've created a cooling pad for my laptop. Um, it's running a Dell XPS 1645 with 8 gigs and an i7 in it. So it gets a little bit warm. Uh, it makes me concerned, but I haven't really had any problems with my computer being really hot. Um, it does actually run pretty hot comparably to dual cores and to uh, single core processors. So I decided to create a cooling pad for it after buying one that wasn't worth a dang. And uh, these are the results. On the left, it's 52 minutes with the cooling pad. And then I took the cooling pad from underneath it and took another screenshot so you could see what the differences were after I took the cooling pad out from underneath it. And I was running at 28% CPU usage roughly through the entire process. Um, this is a cooling pad I bought from Best Buy. Don't buy it. It doesn't help. Um, sorry, Logitech, but, you know, make better products. I used I went to Best Buy and actually bought these three these two tri cools and I had an intercooler from an Xbox 360 which I took the three fans out of the back of and implemented them into creating this device. Um, I used an AC adapter with a 10.5 volt uh, ratio and basically plugged it into all five fans and um, allow them to run constantly. And I'm actually running the fans under the laptop right now, so they're really quiet. See, you can't even hear them. I'm using the microphone laptop. And it's this is what my configuration on the back of it looks up looks like. Um, the Rubbermaid piece that I use, the laptop stand itself, is actually made out of aluminum, which dissipates heat really well, and it's actually mesh. So um, it allows for air to flow out from underneath it. And this is the configuration I used. Two 80-millimeter fans on top. Three, I guess those are 16-millimeter fans on the bottom. Um, if I'm wrong, correct me in your post. Uh, this is what it looks like from the side right here. Um, so, it, you know, it doesn't sit too high off the ground, and I could obviously lower it a lot more if I wanted to. But once again, here are my results. You can see a huge difference in the assembly. Um, the assembly actually went up 7 degrees after I took out the fan, and the processors went up variably between, you know, 3 to 7 degrees, I believe, here and uh, the temperatures on the ACPI went up drastically too, to 154 degrees Fahrenheit um, and then it went to 159 degrees Fahrenheit so that actually went up 5 degrees which is a pretty good difference if you can get any kind of difference like that so I hope you enjoy my video and uh, rate me well um, good luck making a cooling pad if you decide to do so yourself